What's up guys, Ken Blocks here. In this video, I will share the top 5 worst mistakes that most of the players do in the second C. Before we proceed, a big shout out to these guys. Don't forget to thumbs up and consider to subscribe as well. Without further ado, let's go. I am sure that most of the players wanted to try new stuffs. When they get to the second C, and one of those is doing raids. Because raids are only available in 2nd and 3rd C. But since you just reached 2nd C, and you don't have good equipment or stats, any raids will be difficult to you. But if you really want to experience raid, you have two options. First, continue to grind and wait to get Buddha. A good fighting style, and race V3. I am sure that you will be able to solo most of the raids. Second, if you really want to experience raids at low level, then you can ask high level players to carry you. There are a lot of community that are willing to help you. And one of those is the official Discord server of Blocks Fruits. We know that there is a compass in game. That points to the next quest giver's location. But I would not suggest to follow it. Because there are a lot of groups of mobs that are too far to each other. Too far from the quest giver. And has skills that are so annoying which will hinder you to level up fast in second C. If you are an elemental fruit user. I would not suggest to take the quests to kill the mobs that are ore users. And you have to reach a certain level. To activate your elemental fruit immunity. For Buddha users. Don't take the quests that the location of the mobs from each other are too far. And too far from the quest giver. I created two different videos. On how to level up fast in second C for Buddha and elemental fruit users. Check the link in description below. There are six different races in the game. The most common is the human. The other five races are rabbit, shark, angel, ghoul, and cyborg. Each race gives you different buffs. Rabbit race will give you more speed. For shark will give you a passive ability to swim on the sea without damage, and so on. Races are randomly generated. Upon joining the game for the first time, these are the chances of each race but you can buy race change for 90 robux in the products shop or 3000 fragments from tort and it's random tort is located inside the cafe in the second sea and inside the mansion in the third sea the other two races are unique and can only be obtained in second sea for cyborg you must complete the cyborg puzzle to get the race for 2500 fragments for ghoul race can be bought from experiment in cursed ship for 100 ectoplasm and a hellfire torch. To evolve your race to V2, first you must complete the Colosseum quest. Then go to Alchemist in the green zone. And you must be at least level 850 to be able to do the quest. To evolve your race to V3, you must be at least level 1000. Defeated Don Swan and has to million belly. Then go to Aro and take the quest. The quest will be depending on your current race. Each race has different quests. I created a video where I evolved all race to V3. Link in the description. Now, this mistake is common and really worst mistake in the second C. You have to choose the fruit and fighting style that you want to use in the second C. I did not include sword because as a Buddha user, my priority is to max melee and defense before adding sword stats which will happen in 3rd C. For fighting style, if your goal is to get god human in the 3rd C, I would suggest to reach 300 mastery in dark step. Electric, water kung fu, and dragon breath fighting style and get superhuman. For more detailed information about getting superhuman, link in the description. This is the top one of the lists, why? Because this game is a multiplayer game which you have to play with other players. To finish the quests or raids faster. 
Let's say you wanted to hunt sea beast. It would be much easier if you are hunting with other players because there will be a higher chance that the sea beast will spawn and you will be able to kill the sea beast faster. And one of the reasons why you should not play alone is to avoid the worst mistake which is to quit the game because of boredom of playing alone. Join a Discord community or other social media platform where you can find a Blocks Fruits community who can meet other players and make new friends which will make your game experience more fun. I am sure that you will enjoy this game like I do. I created my Discord server, you can join if you want. My goal in my Discord server is to help each other in the game because I know what it feels to fail. Due to playing alone, link in the description. That's it guys. If you know other mistakes that other players do in the second scene, share it by leaving a comment. If you have questions, suggestions, or need help, just comment down below. Thank you for watching, enjoy gaming and keep on grinding.